what I mean You too, team, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it You ever have that friend where you love being around them You enjoy their company, y'all have a good time together But at the same time, that friend, you, you still question a lot of the things that they do Well, PFF for me is that friend I love going over their lists, I enjoy them, have fun talking about them, but at the same time, I still have to question their rankings. So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, PFF did a list of the top, their top 50 players, not top 50 quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, offense. No, 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 no. Their top 50 players in the NFL. And Lamar Jackson wasn't on that list. Before we get into this, I gotta say that I love y'all. I appreciate y'all team Keep It Clean so much. No matter what team you're a fan of, I know it's like 90% Ravens fans, but no matter what team you're a fan of, thank you for coming through. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you to all the patrons. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to anybody that supported the channel in any kind of way. I love y'all. I hope y'all are having a great day whenever you're watching this. I love you. Tell somebody you love them today. I'm telling y'all right now, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Now, getting into this list. This is PFF's list of the top 50 players in the NFL. And like we said, PFF, I guess they, they feel like Lamar Jackson is not a top 50 player in the NFL. Like, you, you can debate on if he's a top five quarterback. You can have that debate, but not a top 50 player. <laughs> not a top 50 player in the what not let's get into this list anyway um number one and you know what first before we get into this list let's see how they break it down one of the benefits of watching and grading every player on every play of the nfl season is the unrivaled ability to compare players with the help of the largest football database on the planet ranking seasons has been underway for quite some time over at pff.com with everything from the best players at each position to the league's best position groups but now it's time to throw some love at the best of the best today we start presenting the top 50 players in the league heading into the 2021 season. The ranking below is a projection of what we think will happen and not necessarily a reaction to uh, a spectacular or underwhelming 2020 season. Additionally, positional value is not considered here, so safeties, guards, or even running backs have just as good of a chance to rank highly as quarterbacks who would dominate the list if positional value was heavily factored. So, the fact that it's not based off of the 2020 season, it's based off of a projection of what they are expected to do, mixed with what they've done in the past, and Lamar J <laughs> Let's just get into it. All right, number one, Aaron Donald from the Los Angeles Rams. Okay, no problem with that at all. No problem with that at all. It's crazy that him as not a defensive end, not an outside linebacker, but him as an interior defensive lineman, a defensive tackle, that he puts up the crazy numbers that he puts up. The guy gets, he doesn't get single team. No, no, nobody going against him. <laughs> no one. <laughs> he gets double team, triple team, quadruple team. Whatever word comes after quadruple, that means five people. He gets that teamed. So Aaron Donald being here, okay, no problem, moving on. Number two, Patrick Mahomes, okay, no problem, moving on. Number three, Travis Kelsey. Oof. Now, Travis Kelsey is nice. Number th the, the, the third best player in the league? Travis, okay, okay, PFF name. Number four, Quentin Nelson, guard from the Colts. Number five, wide receiver Devontae Adams. Well, y'all better not forget about DeAndre Hopkins. Anyway, number six, Khalil Mack. Uh, number seven, Tom Brady from the Bucks. Number eight, Bobby Wagner from the Seahawks. Ooh, that's a surprising one. Uh, okay, anyway, number nine, George Kittle from the 49ers. Okay, they're over there having that little party at their tight end university right now. They got like 80 tight ends there. Not, like, Ravens, Ravens alone could have their own tight end university because they got like 23 tight ends on the team right now. But, but that's besides the point. Number, uh, I said number nine already. Number 10, Aaron Rodgers from the Packers. Okay. 11, TJ Watt from the Steelers. He's nice with it. Number 12, Derrick Henry from the Titans. Okay. 13, Zach Martin from the Cowboys. Okay, now. 14, Jair Alexander from the Packers. Okay. He uh, probably did the best... One of the, if not the best corner in the league, definitely up there. If he ain't one, he's two. Uh, but he's nice, man. Uh, but he should be high. Uh, number 15, more Packers loves, David uh, Bakhtiari. Okay. Number 16, Jalen Ramsey. Shout out to Jalen Ramsey. Okay. Should have been a Raven. But anyway, uh, number 17, DeAndre Hopkins. So y'all know that's my guy, man. Uh, number 18, Tyreek Hill. Uh, number 19, Chris Jones from the Chiefs again. 
Uh, number 20, Fred Warner from the 49ers, linebacker. Uh, 21, Joey Bosa from the Chargers. 22, Russell Wilson from the Seahawks. Okay, uh, 23, Justin Simmons from the Broncos. 24, Trent Williams from the 49ers. 25, Edge, uh, Miles Garrett from the Browns. Okay, we know about him personally. 26, Dalvin Cook, running back from the Vikings. Uh, 27, Nick Bosa from the 49ers. 28, uh, Ryan Ramchick from the, uh, the Saints. Why do I almost say 49ers again? Uh, 29, 29, hey, we got one, y'all. Marlon Humphrey from the Ravens. All right, so I, I'm, I'm cool with that one. Marlon Humphrey made the list. All right, hey, okay, go ahead, Hump, do your thing. Hump is a, is a cornerback, and, and hopefully this year he'll get to play his actual position as outside corner. Hopefully he'll, he doesn't have to go into the slot because that will mean Tay-Tay stayed healthy. But, okay, Marlon Humphrey. And let, let's just read about Marlon Humphrey. Let's see why they put him at 29. Humphrey doesn't get the recognition he deserves because of his role within the Baltimore defense and the things they ask him to do precisely because he is their best coverage player. Over the past two seasons, only Xavier Howard has a higher PFF coverage grade when in single coverage. Humphrey has achieved that despite lining up in the slot on 58.8% of his snaps in that time, a position that often leads to far more coverage losses. Mm. Because, you know, when you, when you cover the outside, the outside receiver, it's you and the sideline. No matter which outside receiver you cover, no matter which side of the field you on, it's you and the sideline. You got help. But when you move to the, into, into, into the insides, into the inside receiver to play that slot corner, Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's that's even tougher, man. But Marlon Humphrey, he's asked to do that. But anyway, moving on. Number thirty, Christian McCaffrey from the Panthers, run CMC. Uh, Thirty-one, Cam Hayward from the Steelers. Uh, Thirty-two, Harrison Smith from the Vikings. Uh, Thirty-three, Eric Kendrick from the Vikings. No, Thirty-four, Allen Robinson from the Bears. Thirty-five, Julio Jones now on the Titans. Thirty-six, Bryce Callahan on the Broncos. I gotta say, I, I I don't I'm not familiar with Bryce Callahan at all. There's no disrespect to him. That's just me being naive. Oh, he okay. He's a slot cornerback. Okay. Um, number 37, Nick Chubb from the Browns. 38, AJ Brown from the Titans. Uh, 39, Alvin Kamara from the Saints. Okay. 40, Josh Allen from the Bills. Okay. Now, uh, 41, John Johnson from the Browns, formerly of the Rams. Okay. 42, Grady Jarrett from the Falcons. 43. Teron Armstead from the Saints, 44, Michael Thomas from the Saints, 45, Stephon Diggs from the Bills, 46, Ronnie Stanley from the Ravens. Ronnie made it. He made it. Let's see what they had to say about Ronnie. Stanley may be the best pass protector in the entire NFL at any position. He has back-to-back -back PFF pass blocking grades of at least 90, albeit in an injury-shortened year in 2020. He has surrendered just 16 total pressures across his last 719 pass blocking snaps, allowing his QB to be hit or sacked just three times in that period. Really? Wow. Stanley's run blocking has improved throughout his career, but it's his pass blocking prowess that powers him to this ranking. What separates him from a player like David Bakhtiari is a combination of longevity at that level and the undoubted effect Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore offense has on the ease of his job as a pass protector by comparison. So, um, OK, you know what? Let's just let's get through the rest of this list. Shout out to Ronnie Stanley, though. 47, James Bradbury from the Giants, formerly of the Panthers, too. Uh, 48, Marcus Williams from the Saints, he even, man, oh. 49, Levante David from the Bucks, and number 50, Dak Prescott from the Dallas Cowboys. You mean to tell me, this list, it includes Patrick Mahomes, okay, cool. It includes Tom Brady, okay, cool. It includes Aaron Rodgers, okay, cool. It includes Josh Allen, okay, cool. It includes Dak Prescott, okay, cool. But you mean to tell me that it includes those guys at the quarterback position, but no Lamar Jackson as a top 50 player? Like, the fact that it would be, it is for the top 50 players, that makes it, that, that gives it even more reason to include Lamar Jackson in there. Because, I mean, it, if it was the top, obviously the top 50 quarterback because 32 teams, so he would definitely be in there. But even in the top 10, he would be in there. But when you change it to top 50 players, when you talk about Lamar Jackson as just a player, and not even just a quarterback, but a player, his impact is that much deeper, is that much stronger, is that much more, it carries that much more weight. So the fact that, this this has got to be now. I know PFF. I know they be trolling now. Trust me, I know they be. I know they be trolling. We know they be trolling. You, you, you know. But this is like the ultimate troll right here. This is the ultimate troll right here.
I know what y'all are doing. And I know why y'all are doing it too. I'm on the y'all PFF. Again, have fun going through that list, going over that list and stuff. Have a great time with them. But still, they remain that friend where you got to question what, what they're doing and why they're doing it. Still love y'all though. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, PFF. Y'all need to get it together. Y'all got to get it together. Shout out to Graven.